So in the context of a severely compressed nerve, when someone has clawing of the hand, loss of intrinsic muscles, uh, significant weakness, one can consider uh, increase the number of uh, nerves or number of fascicles that are going into the intrinsic muscles. And the nerve transfer that we do for this is called an AIN, interosseous nerve, to the ulnar nerve uh, supercharge. And while there have been a number of retrospective papers, there's two papers that you know really stood out to me. Uh, and these are two prospective uh, randomized studies, one's uh, from Egypt and one's from China, both published in the past uh, one to two years. And uh, what the, one was in the setting of transected ulnar nerves and one is in the setting of uh, uh, severely compressed nerves. And both showed better functional outcomes, including intrinsic strength, deformity correction, when the AIN to ulnar nerve transfer is done. So what exactly is this nerve transfer? What exactly is this supercharge? Uh, what we do is we take someone that has ulnar nerve compression or pathology causing intrinsic weakness, and we find the nerve, the branch of the interintraosseous nerve that goes to the pronator quadratus. We have two pronator muscles. One is the pronator teres, one is the pronator quadratus. Pronator quadratus kind of sits here in the distal uh, forearm. And you could take the nerve that goes into that pronator quadratus, since it's redundant, and plug it into the, uh, uh, to the ulnar nerve to provide more uh, innervation. And what's been shown in the prospective studies is that it actually uh, improves strength uh, and improves claw hand deformity. So here what you can see is kind of what the incision looks like. Dissect through the cutaneous uh, tissue identify the uh, flexor muscles and tendons. You retract them over and then you find uh, this muscle here that sits right on the humerus. This is the uh, uh, pronator muscle. And then uh, this, these photos, by the way, are taken from uh, uh, the Wash U uh, surgical education series, which again, I'll have a reference for at the end is absolutely wonderful when you're looking for different types of nerve transfers and, and uh, surgical anatomy technique videos. But here in this video, uh, Dr. McKinnon uh, uh, removes or, or, or strips away some of that pronator, quadra uh, pronator quadratus muscle to reveal that nerve just below it. And then you get enough distance and you take that nerve and you transfer it over to the ulnar nerve that you've exposed. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.